Nearly 800 years old, Caldicott Castle has weathered its fair share of storms. And like the walls of a castle, you need to build the right defences to help protect your investment strategies from the turbulent environment of this new economic age. We came together for CityWire Southwest for a day and a half of insightful discussion into how best to fortify your clients' portfolios. You need stability to lay solid foundations, so are current asset prices misleading in the face of interest rate rises? Economist Andrew Scott argued that while central banks increasingly hint at interest rate rises, the markets have yet to price this in. So if normal interest rates can't go below zero, it may be you can't get real interest rates low enough. If inflation is 1% and the normal interest rate is zero, then real interest rates can only go down to minus one. In other words, the zero lower bound says central bankers haven't done their job, interest rates shouldn't go back to normal, the economy is still struggling. Capitalism hasn't changed. It's evolved, um, but the credit crisis came about because of poor banking regulation. Human nature to invest and make profit in businesses hasn't changed, and we can see that in the stock market. You know, the stock market hasn't really changed. It's the bond markets and the banking system that's, that's had to change. So one day we'll get there. I'm a young man, but it's been going on for a long time, and it's going to take at least two to three economic cycles to get back to a normalised interest rate environment, if we ever do. CityWire's own Jonathan Miller talked about fund managers that were forged in the heat of the financial crisis and questioned the importance of experience. There's a new generation of fund managers coming through and they're the leading set of outperformers since 2008. What I term being born in a crisis and then surviving has been their defining characteristic. They've added value in more difficult times and yet carried on their outperformance through the cycles we've seen since then. I think it's really important that they've come through the crisis. OK, I think the stats have shown that rookie managers can do well, but having seen those really tough times really must have focused the mind, and I think that's a good experience to have behind them. Fund manager tenure is a really important factor for us. Um, we tend to use a three-year track record. Ideally, we'd like to see managers go through a, a difficult time, so the financial crisis being a very important period. I once went with Tony Blair to a European summit. He thought he was fabulous at French. It was only when all the Norwegian and Swedish translators started laughing loudly and embarrassed fashion that we realized something terrible had happened. And afterwards we discovered that rather than saying, Monsieur Jospin, you are very adept at moving around the place, what Tony had actually said in French was, I'd like to take Mr. Jospin in very many different positions. <laughs> In today's world of modern technology and cyber hacking, the need for online security is vital. Rick Ferguson gave us an insight into how we can pull up the drawbridge against cyber warfare. Assume that the attacker is already inside. Stop trying to think about building better castles and start trying to think about building a better prison. Start trying to think about how do I make it more difficult for an attacker to leave with what they came for. I have to recognize the fact that I can't stop them getting in, whatever I do. If they've decided my business will be a victim, then my business will be a victim. Whatever defences you choose to help protect against economic risks, we hope the last few days have given you some new ideas to help build an investment stronghold for your clients' portfolios.